We have conspiracy theories about all kinds of topics. Um, and the internet um, gives that like, you know, um, an, an, a venue or like a, a, um, a facility where it can really flourish because people can just say and express things without having to substantiate them. Um, and um, not, all uh, not, not, not all conspiracy theories that we can find on the internet are necessarily anti-Semitic. Um, but the truth is I barely came across any conspiracy theory that at least in one case or another is not decoded in an anti-Semitic way. Um, in many cases there's a question, you know, you can't say clearly this is an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory, but then almost every conspiracy theory has some kind of connection point where it can be interpreted in an anti-Semitic way and like in most cases where it also is interpreted in an anti-Semitic way. For example, if we take the QAnon conspiracy theory, it's not inevitably or necessarily an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory per se. It's some kind of diffuse idea that there's some kind of like hidden force that is responsible for everything that goes wrong and um, that Donald Trump is going to be the big redeemer and um, I don't think that everybody who believes in it necessarily believes this evil force of the Jews. But when you, for example, look at the videos that they were on YouTube for a very long time, then they were taken down from YouTube, but they are still on all tech platforms, um, all of a sudden, when they talk about the bad guys, you see a picture of Rothschild. So, does he represent a Jew? Does he just like represent capitalist elites? How do people really decode it, right? That's something you can't say with certainty. Um, or all of a sudden there's like a, there's like a scene in it where you see Israeli newspapers that feature imagery of, um, of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and like headlines, Hebrew headlines about the corruption cases against him. So you can ask the question, is it in there just to make a case about government corruption? Or is it like really to steer an association of like associating the bad guys with the Jews? So there are a lot of things that are up for the reader to decode. Um, but um, from what I saw and the data I looked at, there's almost no conspiracy theory that at least in particular cases is not decoded in an anti-Semitic way. There, there are also um, conspiracy theories that are explicitly and clear-cut anti-Semitic. And I think one um, of the most important ones that we're talking about today is the so-called white genocide conspiracy theory which claims um, that Jews would be on purpose orchestrate non-white immigration into white countries in order to destroy the white race, to conduct a genocide of the white people. Um, and precisely because this conspiracy theory combines brute racism with anti-Semitism, it shows us the difference between these two ideologies, which is very important because anti-Semitism is not just another form of social bias. Um, in the white genocide conspiracy theory, we have racism. It's employed by neo-Nazis, by far white people, um, and they are concerned about what they fantasize about as like, you know, uh, uh, racial homogeneity. They think like a society in order to function needs to be like racially homogenous, whatever that means, because as a matter of fact, we know there's nothing really like, you know, race uh, among humans, but they have this idea of the white race and they have this fantasy that the white race, the white race needs to be um, consistent, homogenous, and that like every non-white influence would destroy um, the functionality, the consistency, um, um, of, of a so-called white society. Now, um, they're racist, they against non-white people, but the non-white people, there's something like a nuisance for them, right? They don't want them to come into their society, they want them to stay out, they want them all kind of anti-immigration uh, measures and immigration restrictions, so the non-whites can't come into white society.
But the Jews in this theory, they are the ones who are actually orchestrating it. They are the ones behind the scenes who are actually on purpose orchestrating this, this, uh, this, uh, this immigration movements by all kinds of means, or basically by two kinds of means, by orchestrating, by um, purposely starting political conflicts and wars, so these people have to escape from all these countries in the Middle East, in Africa, and wherever, and by the same time of like clandestinely manipulating national policies, or the policies of national governments. Jews are portrayed as the conspiring masterminds. Um, Non-whites, Hispanic people, people of color, whatever, they are just a nuisance they don't want there. They are some kind of like, uh, they, they're portrayed as some kind of like uh, inferior group they don't want to mix with. But they're not like the conspiring ones. The conspiring ones are the Jews. And uh, the white genocide uh, conspiracy theory is uh, um, very significant because actually this is a theory that has like motivated or has been used to justify a lot of hate crimes. Um, the attack against the synagogue in Poway, excuse me, um, in Pittsburgh in 2018, the attack against the Poway synagogue in 2019, and the attack against the Halle synagogue in Germany, um, they were all justified in terms of this white genocide conspiracy theory. And for example, if you read the manifesto of the perpetrator who um, committed the attack on the Halle synagogue, he says, well, um, I don't want immigration. And he says, like he writes in his manifesto, I was thinking about like an Antifa club, or I was thinking about attacking a mosque, um, or something like that. But in order to really solve the problem, I have to attack the Jews, because um, the Jews are the ones who are bringing more immigrants uh, to Europe all the time, right? And this is the reason, and he really explains that in detail in his manifesto, why he chose um, not to attack, or like why he chose his, to make it his priority, not to attack foreigners, and not to attack Muslims, and not to attack the Antifa people, who he all doesn't like, and he all wants seen to disappear, but why he decided to attack a synagogue because he wanted to attack Jews. That's what he exactly said, because he sees them as a perpetrator behind all this. This, uh, this is the reason why the white genocide, uh, white genocide conspiracy theory is um, very significant, um, not only in terms of explaining what's going on in discourse, in the internet and beyond the internet, but also in terms of explaining hate crime.